In this video, we're gonna go over a tip in regards to the use of Christmas lights. In particular, we're gonna distinct between the use of commercial grade Christmas lights, which are the bulbs in, in clear in this case, and residential grade Christmas lights, which are the bulbs, uh, the multi-color color bulbs in this case, okay? We both have uh, the same color schemes, uh, warm white, which is yellowish white or multicolor in residential and commercial, but in this case, just so uh, we're distincting, the residential grade is the multicolor, the commercial grade is the uh, the warm white, the clear bulbs, okay? So this is all to say, some homes are gonna work better with commercial grade Christmas lights only, while some homes, you have the option to use commercial grade or residential grade Christmas lights, okay? So in this example, let's say we're gonna plug uh, you know, an outlet, we're gonna find the outlets, Simply, we're going to start the strand on the first story along the gutter line, up and down the peak, or starting just around the other side. Let's say there, there, might, be, there might be a Christmas light outlet on this corner or this side. It doesn't really matter. We're going to start on one side or the other, and we're going to simply draw a line up and down the peak and along the gutters. So along the gutter, up, down the peak, a couple feet around the corners. Okay. So just one continuous line. Okay, same with the first story and the second story in this case of, uh, of this home. So we're going just starting around the corner, up the peak, down the peak, along the gutter, up the peak, down the peak, and then a couple of feet around the corner or vice versa, right? Um, either starting here, a couple of feet around the corner, up the peak, down the peak, along the gutter, up the peak, down the peak, along the gutter, a couple of feet around the corner, okay? Both stories in this case work perfectly well for residential grade Christmas lights or commercial grade Christmas lights. Not that confusing, okay? A little bit more confusing, and the, the characteristic you're really gonna want to identify is homes that have two peaks back to back, okay? You notice that both on the first story section, right where my fingers are wiggling, or the second story section, okay? There's one peak and a second peak. And then on the second story, there's one peak, and then just behind it, there's a second peak, okay? This home is gonna work a lot better with commercial grade Christmas lights because that gives us the option to cut them to size. So we can start the Christmas lights here. Let's say we tried to use residential grade Christmas lights. We're gonna start them here, run them along the gutter line, along this other gutter line, up that first peak, down the first peak. But to get to the second peak in back, we can't cut the residential grade Christmas lights, okay? So therefore, we're just gonna see Christmas light bulbs in this little crevice going from the end of this first peak up the roof to get to the second peak. And that's not good. That doesn't look very professional. It doesn't look very clean because we're just gonna see some random string of Christmas lights right here. Same with right here on the second story, right? This is why the, uh, the residential Christmas lights don't work in this case uh, versus the commercial Christmas lights we can run them along the same, you know, along the gutter line, above the garage, along the other gutter line that you see from that other angle, up that peak, down that peak. Then we can cut them, add an extension cord, and then start a second strand right here so that there's no bulbs in this little uh, crack between the two parts of the roof, okay? That's for kind of two reasons. Number one, I already pointed out, it doesn't look very professional if we use residential grade Christmas lights and we just see random bulbs on the roof where they're not really supposed to be. And number two, the bulbs are susceptible to water damage, right? In this part of the roof, they're just chilling, laying on the roof. It's susceptible to water when it rains, uh, uh, penetrating those bulbs, causing damage, you know, uh, and shorting that, uh, that, that strand, okay? And damaging the strand. We got to come back, service them. It doesn't make sense. So we just want to limit a home like this that has multiple peaks back to back to using only commercial grade Christmas lights, okay? We do not want to send them a quote for both commercial and residential grade because residential grade will not work for this home. They only will work for commercial grade lights versus my neighbor's home over here. Both residential grade or commercial grade could work, okay? So just be sure to be attentive to it if you're in the office preparing quotes. Um, only give the appropriate options, the residential grade and or commercial grade options. Uh, and then if you're in the field, uh, just be aware what lights you're installing because we cannot cut residential grade lights, but we can perfectly size commercial grade lights to fit uh, perfectly for this home, even though it has the peaks that won't work for residential grade lights.